welcome back to the channel today very different sort of video let's just bring you guys up there we go now it is currently 6 59 just clocked over to seven o'clock in the morning and we're in the rs turbo because we have the first road trip and i mean road trip really lightly because it's about a two and a half hour journey that we're actually doing today we're taking the rs turbo to get painted now when i bought this car i really wanted to paint the front end a year on thankfully due to the pandemic and various other things today two and a half hour journey to drop this off for its paint we're gonna wait for the boat wrap about you know half an hour. Isle of Wight based obviously that's where I am so I've come from the middle of the Isle of Wight all the way over to Yarmouth and we're getting the White Link Ferry over to Lymington which should be uh, really good. Again I, I haven't actually been on this boat at this side of the island in, in quite a while so we're gonna wait you know 20 minutes and we'll start boarding. So this is the point where I'd be videoing to go on the boat. The nice weather uh, did not last long by the looks of it. I absolutely hate that. It's like being on a like a, a, on a ride, but you're in your car. Nah, I don't like it. with uh, that ferry port. That's the ferry port that I actually bought my Cadillac back to uh, initially when I first bought it. And that was the first time it broke down. <laughs> it broke down literally as I bought it, it broke down at that ferry port. So we had to sort of uh, jump it and then like jump the air ride and then get it on the boat. Um, and then thankfully it actually started the other end. So weird connection with that, but it's weird again to bring back uh, another classic car to that same location. So sort of driving through, as you just saw, it's so weird to me and it, it's really, really cool at the same time to have that connection with the Cadillac there. But now today making memories with the Series 1. Anyway, I know that this isn't the longest stint of uh, road trip ever, but again, I haven't done too many miles in this, unfortunately, lockdown or various other stuff. But we've got about another 40 minutes. We'll get there. I'll show you guys exactly what's happened to the car as well. What broke, I think you guys may or may not have seen a previous video of what I'd accidentally done to the front end. It was cracked anyway, but I cracked it even more by accident bringing it out of my uh, garage. But I'll show you that after we do a little bit of a stint through some lovely uh, trees and like, you know, B roading and that on a bit of A road motorway, dual carriageway, whatever's coming up, and then we'll be there. Oh, parked in a puddle! Oh, god! So I thought I'd pull over quickly into this little lay by. Look at the state of this absolutely stunning next to the series one rs turbo out mate why am i so excited to just be out in the countryside on beautiful roads in the series one sorry about all the traffic and stuff everyone's going to work in their normal gray cars but mate the series one looks so at home out here look at this property anyway enough of me chatting the series one is so wet and dirty it's unreal i actually cleaned it before we came but such is life with cars and the roads wet and everything. Anyway, onwards. What a view though. I'd be making a video, you know, doing a small road trip in the Series 1 RS Turbo that I owned 
dodging puddles. <laughs> there is so much standing water, it's not even funny. And I forgot how good the heating is in this car, it is insane. I've literally got it on one, I'm gonna have to turn it off, it's literally that warm. And you know, we're mid-May, you know, it, it's not that warm at the moment, unfortunately. But this car, to live with, like if you wanted to actually daily drive this, I know people are tucking these cars away at the moment. Get out there and drive it, that was the whole idea. Yeah, I've been through a pandemic and had a child with this car, so I haven't been able to put as much mileage as I wanted to. So when I had the chance to actually take this somewhere else, cattle grid, thought I'd never do this. Thought I'd never take the Sierra Club over a cattle grid, but we out here taking it through cattle grids. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Let's do this window. I forgot how fast this thing is. It's only 157 horsepower, but shh, it just absolutely flies. Nothing feels like a Series 1 RS Turbo, I'll tell you that. We're just coming into Ringwood now, so we're about, what, 12 minutes away? Not too bad. I am going to find somewhere to take a little wee wee's because I am bursting for a wee. You have no idea. You really got, you guys need to know that, didn't you? Just stopped at a uh, Morrison's, two chocolate and almond croissants. Nice start to the day. I went for a wee, update, good times. Should we carry on? We're only about, what, 12 minutes away? Anyway, on to the motorway. Standing water. Everywhere. There's absolutely no slip road. This is why I've got 157 horsepower, really, isn't it? Oh, a little series one. That's a spirit. She does keep up with traffic. This thing. <laughs> made it down to Motora as you can see just behind me there. Uh, series 1 did really well actually. I'm super happy with how it drove even through the rain. I mean I'm gonna go around and assess the car with you guys because you guys haven't actually really seen what's happened to this and why it's here and I did want to do some paint stuff when I bought this car. Obviously through driving it and running over a bit of wood in my garage so he's like oh where are you? We'll get through it, we'll get through it anyway but I must admit I'm so happy with how I've kept this clean so it's beading nicely yeah, super happy with how that has actually made the trip. I know it's only about, you know, two and a half hours, as I've already said, but super happy with how the car drives and everything. But I want to go through and assess everything prior to me coming here to Motora because we are going to be transforming, not necessarily colours or anything like that, but transforming this into the mint version of the Series 1. That's all I've always wanted. So I'm going to cut up the front. It's going to show you what's going to change. Not change, but be fixed. Now, as you guys may or may not have seen on Instagram, if you don't follow me, Jamie Fwady on Instagram, I actually cracked that part and we're going to be fixing that, painting the whole arch. Now the front bib, just this bit here, has always been um, chipped and scratched and stuff, so we're going to redo that as well. We're going to reassess this grill because it's actually broken at the top there, so that's always going to be fixed as well. We're actually going to completely take all of the front end off and realign it so it's all perfect because as you guys may have seen in previous videos this has had paint before it's not you know no uh show car or anything like that but as you can see the actual front of the car is a little bit out in the indicators and the headlights so we're going to assess that and fix that as well and this side this was actually already like this when i bought the car so we're going to get that done now i've actually recently taken off my mud flaps i had my flaps on his car, I re-put my flaps on the car because I thought, well, it looks cool, I'll keep the mud flaps on. I didn't like it, so I took them off. Now, this has actually exposed something that we are going to fix, which is all of the drill marks just behind the arches. So, as you can see, all of the drill marks 
just behind the wheels they're all going to get properly fixed they're all going to get properly fixed and painted now that's pretty much as far as I'm going to go in this trip. I just want to make those parts clean, nice, because we've got some car shows that we need to take this car to. Yes, there's other things you'll see at a car show when you see this thing that I'm gonna do down the line, but I am super happy to be dropping this off today at Motor. Again, massive thank you to the guys for taking this on, for wanting to work on this car, because again, I don't just trust anybody with these sorts of cars. So yeah, really, really excited. But this is the series one as it is. I'm gonna pull it in in a minute and I'm gonna leave it here. Again, massive thank you to the guys at Motora. This isn't a promo. This isn't, um, you know, a swap for swap or anything. I just saw that they did fantastic work. So I wanted to bring the Series 1 down and get loads of bits done to it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll put Motora's links and their Instagram and all that sort of stuff in the link in the description. Although, again, this isn't a swap for swap. This is actually just uh, coming to somewhere that I think is doing a really good job. So I want to let them take on the Series 1 and paint bits and fix stuff. So yeah, definitely hit them up if you have any paint inquiries. Uh, they're again fantastic they've got beautiful cars out here I'm actually shooting a few cars while I am down here so you'll be seeing that on the uh, channel not so distant future but thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you on the next one